Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. This is Fitness and Nutrition and I've been thinking, I've made a new channel on Fitness and Nutrition but I need to address the situation of most of the normal people who actually don't exercise at all or they don't get time to exercise. So they need to know what health risk they are at this situation right if you don't exercise at all if you're not actually concentrating on your fitness then what happens right or for that matter if you stop exercising at some day you stop exercising then what will happen over time to your body and what are the health risks so this is very important so here we go see first thing what happens is obviously when you are not exercising you are not so active as compared to others or as compared to before and you will burn less calories you will burn lesser calories fewer calories and this will make it more likely that you become fat you gain weight number one you will become fat number two you will also lose your muscular strength as well as endurance right strength and endurance because you're not using your muscles as much as before or you're not using at all as compared to others so you'll use your muscles third not only muscles and your weight you will even lose your bones i mean your bones will become weaker and they will lose a lot of mineral content which is very bad right then your metabolism metabolism will be affected or uh, all your body will have uh, trouble uh, breaking down fat and even sugars that your metabolism will become slow because need is less right so metabolism will suffer your immune system will also have a problem it will not work as much you will have more diseases more allergic responses more anxieties right you will have poorer blood supply that's a big thing blood takes everything to nutrition and all the nutritious and you know immune system cells are taken to every single part of the body so poor blood supply itself is a huge problem then you will have more inflammation right inflammation is the response which your bodies uh, produce to infections to traumas to allergies right so you will have more inflammations and inflammatory diseases if you don't exercise and lastly you will also have hormonal imbalances so it's a huge big deal right your hormones immunity circulation weight your bones your muscles right even your mind will be affected right so this is not so good so what all diseases are you looking at if you are not exercising obviously number one is obesity obviously you are looking at heart diseases coronary artery diseases heart attacks you're looking at high blood pressure high cholesterol strokes right you're looking at metabolic syndrome diabetes even certain types of cancers like colon cancer breast cancer uterine cancer they uh, there is a high chance that you will develop them right obviously your bones are getting weak you will de you will develop osteoporosis and you will fall at a certain age in future and the elderly age right so you will fall you will have broken bones and be dependent on people you will get depressed and you will have anxiety so that's how you end up in anxiety this is the most common the biggest reason biggest reason so what can you do right you don't have time to go out don't have time to exercise you don't have time to go or you know uh, you work whole time or you're active at home so do you think being active at home counts at accounts as exercise or not no so if you are uh, doing your home uh, chores or gardening or yard work or any physical work at home try to increase the intensity do it faster do it at a faster and vigorous pace right but safely obviously and if you're watching a tv don't just sit and watch the tv you can stand and watch the tv or you can uh, sit on a cycling chair and watch the tv or use some hand weights and exercise during you watch during you know that time you can 
uh, walk when you talk on phone right or you can uh, change the channel by going up to the tv instead of you know using a remote control these are the small small things try to get exercise equipments at home at least handheld exercises treadmill cycles whatever you want right or else take out five minutes time before bath or before sleep and exercise at least for five minutes right walking jogging running skipping whatever your age your physical condition permits so that's how you start right then can you exercise at work absolutely why not right if you are actually having a desk job and you are sitting for most of the time right right uh, from the morning till evening then take out a few minutes every hour right every hour stand up and take a walk around the office right that itself is a good one at least once right stretch reverse your posture i've already told this in the postural section in the uh, lower back ache section right and you can actually walk when you're talking on the phone you can actually go to the person and talk about the matter instead of mailing them right use less of the phones and uh, other things you can go and uh, the people in the office can actually opt for a standing meeting instead of a conference room conference room sitting arrangement you can actually stand people might even have standing desk or even exercise treadmill desks are you know, existing in this world do you know that so technically there is a lot of way which you can exercise even going to the office you can opt for you know walking up the stairs instead of going on a uh, on a lift so there are many ways to actually increase your exercise increase your activity and whatever activity you do try to do it faster and faster increase your speed increase your agility increase your force intensity that's your target and you avoid all these problems simple share this now all right Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Dr. Paramjeet and this channel is dedicated to fitness and nutrition. So don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and show your love. Goodbye.